Hello, welcome to AthoraAcademy.com. My name is Kaushal Kishore, and today we will learn about the file browser visit module in Drupal 8. Normally, file browser visit module uh, uses two modules. Uh, first is the file browser module, and second is the entity browser module, and it provides an interface for uploading the files and selecting the existing uploaded files in Drupal 8. Okay, uh, for using it, let's create a content type first. Uh, I am going to create a content type for uploading the image into the image gallery. So go on the structure and click on the content type okay and click add content type and suppose my content type name is gallery okay gallery okay uh, content type for adding the gallery gallery okay and i'm going to save and manage fields okay in this gallery content type i will create, i will add a image field with multiple uploads uh, settings <coughs> okay uh, now i'm going to add a image field uh, image and uh, gallery images okay and save and continue okay and uh, i need unlimited image on this gallery then save field settings okay and i need this if you want to make the field required then you can enable this field or what will be the default image and alternative test title what type of extension do you want to allow with this content type and what is the file directory maximum image resolution minimum these all are the configurations of the image and uh, which field is required i make all field disabled uh, okay save settings okay now uh, i have created a gallery content type in which we can upload a number of images at a time uh, okay now i am going to add a content in the gallery <coughs> okay going add content and i am going to the gallery okay uh, you can see that there is a choose file and you can choose the file from here or if you want to uh, add the visit here then you can easily add it suppose i am adding two images here then open then both of the images will be uploaded okay then this is the default uh, uh, visit of the drupal 8 but if you want to integrate the uh, entity browser with it then you can easily do it uh, okay uh, for adding the file browser visit and entity browser visit uh, go on the manage fields and the manage form display okay and after that okay and choose the file browser here and after choosing that you no know, entity browser is selected now click on it and choose the entity browser then i am choosing the browse for files and update it after updating it don't forget to click on save because if you will not click on save then it will not be displayed now refresh the page okay uh, now when you can see that this is the entity browser plugin and you can upload click and uh, upload the files here if you want to upload the files here then you can easily select a number of files then all files will be uploaded or uh, if you want to uh, remove the files then you can easily remove it from here okay you can also use an existing file reference from here suppose these are the my these are my already uploaded files uh, then if you want uh, this then i am selecting four images and click on the select files then all the four images will be displayed here and these are the four images and you can easily remove and you can also enable and disable the alt and description fields in uh, from the uh, backend system 
okay so this is the entity browser plugin um, from by which you can easily upload the files and select the files from the existing system okay this is the already opened file if you want to change that there will be a pop-up if you want a pop-up to display on the click on the select files then you can easily change it from here so click on this setting here icon and after that uh, um, browse for files model and click on update after that save the settings and after saving the settings refresh the page then when you click on it then the already open native browser has been gone and uh, when you click on the select then that uh, entity browser will be open in the pop-up okay you can easily drag and drop the files here or you can easily upload the files uh, on clicking on it uh, suppose i want two files then click on it and upload the files and uh, if you want to use the existing field then you can easily use the existing field from here okay you can also change the uh, image display size from here suppose i am going to add this <coughs> four image then click on the select files then you can then that four image will be displayed you can easily remove it from here and so on so there is some all so other settings in it and these are uh okay remove button or edit button if you want to display this button then you can enable or disable this button uh from here okay so this is uh, all about the file entity browser and the file widget module in drupal 8 suppose i'm going to add this uh, uh gallery one gallery one and gallery one okay and save and publish then your gallery will be created uh, from the existing files of the drupal you can also change the uh, display mode uh, of this files for changing the display mode uh, just go on the manage display section and choose the image styles from the uh, original image if you want uh, thumbnail uh, 100 of 100 and link image if you want to link the image to another content or files then you can easily configure it from here click on update and save after saving it refresh the page then that page will be uh, changed and here the uh 100 into 100 size images are displaying oh okay uh, this is all about the file browser widget and entity browser uh, for using this module your uh, uh, system must have the file browser module the entity browser module drop down dot js and all the dependencies of the entity browser and the file browser module after that you can use this widget in our drupal in your drupal installation okay this is all about the now uh, file browser widgets and uh, thanks for watching our video and don't forget to share your feedback and subscribing your channel subscribing our channel thank you very much